Ha <laughs> ha! Got your ass. What's happening, YouTube? Shimmy back from the Shimmy Show. Today is a really interesting day. The Wi-Fi is tripping here, and I got to do some laundry. So time for another episode. Yay! My shoes are drying outside. Uh, these are my bootleg Harachis, by the way. They're from Alibaba, AliExpress. Thirty-four dollars, baby. Um, you know what's really interesting about Harachis is that everybody and their fucking mama is wearing them now. I was rocking these things back in high school, back in 1993, and I was a fucking nerd, and people teased me about them and shit uh, on the track and cross country team, because the original Harachis, they, uh, they were green with a buckle system without laces. And niggas in school, in fucking Oakland, San Leandro, wherever, Hayward, Union City and shit, they would tease me for having these funny looking Nikes that were basically like aqua socks. Now, fast forward 20 years later, everybody and their fucking mama is wearing them. And I've been wearing these shoes for 20 fucking years. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? You know, I'm just ahead of the curve. But anyway, I'm still here in Thailand. You know, well, it's just me, man. I'm always ahead of you niggas. Just always light years ahead of you motherfuckers. I don't talk fast. Y'all just listen slow. But uh, about the Harachis, um, fucking, um, sorry the room is a mess now, but you can see. Housekeeping! <laughs> um, I actually replace my shoes every, really about every three weeks or 300 miles since I run so much. I mean, I'm like, just like a race car, you gotta have new race tires and uh, shoes are important. So, yeah, no matter how much you pay for them, replace them after 300 miles. So, Harachis do me well. I'll get some more after this trip, but yeah, that's my shit. My signature Harachis. I've won many, 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 many races in them. But the trick is you gotta replace your running shoes before the foam in the midsole breaks down. Not not when the because the bottom of the shoe will still have uh like tread on it and shit, but once that foam breaks down, you'll be feeling it in your kneecaps and shit when you run. So even though they look good, you know you gotta replace them before they well before the foam gets fucked up in them, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, da, 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 what's going on here on the internet? No Wi-Fi. But there is, you guys are in luck. There is, I did save or download this document I've been meaning to talk about, and that's the topic of this show. Uh, let's find out where the fuck it is. Da, 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 da. About the OJJDPICAC in Indian country. I would not be talking about you motherfuckers so much if it were not for this document right here. The smoking motherfucking gun. Look at it before they pull that URL offline. Tribal-institute.org slash 2014 slash B4PP.PDF. It's an Amber Alert document with my name on it about Native American human trafficking and shit. And this is an official, official document. I'm zooming in as best as I can. How do I zoom in on fucking, uh, hold on. Control plus, I think. Yeah, control plus, 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 plus. Let's go up here, zoom up, just so motherfuckers can see this. This was, this was like part of a slideshow, I guess, for some presentation or some shit. Amber Alert is usually the shit I see on the highway when there's like motherfucking kids being kidnapped and shit. Amber Alert, license plate, this, that, Toyota, this, that, and the other, right? So this is official U.S. government shit, people. Let's focus. U.S. Department of Justice. Ooh, so some official shit with my name on it. And if it were not for this document here, I would not be giving all this hell to the OJJDP and ICAC and Indian Country and Dorian Peters and all that bullshit because it proves that they are fucking with me and following me and they have me on this whole human trafficking thing, a whole motherfucking thing. Devaluation of native women, Pocahontas, and I don't really care about what they think. Violent pimp, 30 men a day. She fucks 30 men a day. How is that possible? Anyway, uh, da, 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 I'm not, I, they got social problems. It's not my problem. Not my problem. Runaways. Da, 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 da. What am I looking for on here? I'm looking for my name. Oh, look, there's the old sign of American pronoun. Raina! Raina, that looks familiar. I actually took that photo of her in Holiday Inn. Raina, 
Gallup, New Mexico, lived in single parent home with three brothers. Runaways, great typo, starting at 12 years old, dropped out of school in ninth grade. Runaway in Albuquerque when she met Shimmy when she was selling pussy herself on Backpage. <laughs> and uh, there's a whole thing about me. There, they put some of my old jokes and shit from the thing on there. Shimmelise MacBeb, that's me. Hey, that's me you talking about. Confirmation. Gotcha, bitch. Shimalise McBeb, Florida webmaster and entrepreneur, investigated in Winnipeg for using an underage girl for pornography. I don't know about that. That girl was actually 25 years old. Case never prosecuted because she was because she was 25. Author E. Pimp. Yeah, I wrote a book on Amazon when I was 25. I wrote Reboot. I wrote another book a couple years later. I'm an author, yes. But this is proof that these motherfuckers. What? Sex trafficking and murder? <laughs> You're gonna put my name on this shit? <laughs> so this is proof that the OJJDPICAC task force is following me and, and trapping me and trying to run all these games and they have quite a bit of funding to uh, do this here. And I would not be giving these people so much fucking bloody hell if I did not have proof in the form of this document, b4pp.pdf. Remember that people, and that's just the first one. What are you people doing? Do I look like I'm human trafficking motherfuckers here in Thailand? The land of right hand drive cars, fucking pad Thai motorcycles and durians. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the dentist today and get my teeth whitened and run the beach. But uh, yeah, man, you guys really, really, really fucked up. You should have done your paperwork. You should have done your research and you should have protected your documents. Whoever did your IT stuff, Whoever leaked all this PowerPoint slideshow shit to Google so that when I Google my name, this comes up? Or how the fuck you people expect me to get a job or something when motherfuckers look up my name, sex trafficking, murder, human trafficking, this, that, and the other, when I don't do any of this and it's all false? Go look at the girl's video of her throwing that money up in the air. Go look at her model releases and then look at me. Clean as a motherfucking whistle. You wish you could beat me. You niggas wish you could beat me. You wish you could be legal and pull it off like me, but you can't. So you gonna scapegoat me, but now the truth comes out. Oh, Raina, 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 Raina. Shouldn't have listened to that pussy asshole, huh? Did you ever know that some hookers tell lies? Have you ever thought that back page girls tell lies? Mm -hmm. B4PP.PDF. Y'all fucked up. Big time, Amber Alert, USDOJ, OJJDP, ICAC in Indian country, the smoking guns on the internet. If I didn't have the proof, I wouldn't be talking all this shit. You people have been following me and fucking with me for over a decade. Over that? How does that make you guys look? What about all that funding? How much did you spend on all this shit? A million, couple million every year? Am I worth like fucking $10 million to $6 million man to you people? <laughs> what you gonna do about it now? What you gonna do to make amends? Are you even gonna admit that you're wrong? Probably not. I don't expect people to do that. I'm not that naive, but really. No apologies have come my way. Nothing has said, hey, sorry for slandering your name. Sorry for accusing you of this. Sorry for linking your name to sex trafficking and murder and missing and this and that and shit that's like way the fuck over my head while I'm here trying to make movies like a fucking nerd. Give me a fucking break, people. You wonder why I give these people so much hell. That's why. That's fucking why. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all done fucked up now. Y'all done fucked up now. The proof is in the pudding, baby. Peace and hair grease. This has been another episode of The Shemmy Show. Buy my movies. I want your money, honey. Y'all gonna see how much hell I give these people for fucking with me. That was a nice E-class drop. I ought to go buy one of them, huh? Yeah. Anyway, peace out, y'all.